This is Scientific American's 60 Second Science. I'm Christopher Intagliata. If you've ever pulled a rolling suitcase through the airport, chances are you've also been annoyed by this common occurrence. The suitcase starts rocking back and forth on each wheel and finally tips over. It's a very classic phenomena in physics. Sylvain koresh a physicist at the University of Paris, Diderot. So if you perturb the, the system, it goes very easily unstable. This is shared by many, many phenomena in, in nature. koresh and his students wanted to get to the bottom of why luggage tips. So they built what looks like the skeleton of a wheeled suitcase and filmed it rolling on a treadmill. And then they modeled what they saw mathematically. And here's what they found. Under normal rolling conditions, the forward motion of the suitcase is perpendicular to the wheel's axis of rotation. All good. But when you hit a bump or jerk the handle, one wheel lifts up. All of a sudden, the pulling motion is no longer perpendicular to the still rolling wheel's rotation, and the wheel corrects that by drifting towards the center. But by that time, the other wheel is coming down, the same thing happens, and now the suitcase is really rocking. And the first reaction that uh, you would have maybe is to slow down. But actually, if you slow down, you, you will experience very big rocking oscillations. The way back to a smooth ride, he says, is to keep up your speed or move even faster once rocking begins. The studies in the Proceedings of the Royal Society A. There are other solutions to suitcase instability like doing a better packing job. If you put heavy stuff close to the axis of symmetry or close to the wheel axis, then it's, uh, it's stable too. And koresh has one more piece of advice to avoid rocking in the first place. If you go slow enough, then it, it will be always stable. Keep that in mind next time you're running to your gate. Thanks for listening. For Scientific American's 60 Second Science, I'm Christopher Intagliata.